everyone, welcome to my channel. So today we're gonna make a chicken pie. It's a Brazilian style pie. It's very delicious, but very simple to make. The dough you make in a blender, then you put half of the dough in a Parex, and then the filling you make, you can make whatever you want. Like today we're gonna make kind of creamy chicken, but you can make with ground beef if you like. You can be vegetarian, you can saute all kinds of vegetables and then put it there or you can make it just with um, ham and cheese. You know, it's up to you. This is my grandma's recipe. So it has been on my family forever. My grandma was this petite little Italian lady, the sweetest lady ever. I miss her so much. She really inspired me to cook, you know? I remember being so young and watching her, her cooking and that she put so much love and so much effort, you know, to her food and the taste was unbelievable, unbelievable. This recipe is perfect for you to serve for dinner. And uh, since you have the meat, you have the bread there. And then if you make a salad on the side, you're good to go. So like I said, it's a very versatile recipe that you can make whatever you want. So let's start. Now we're gonna start with my filling. So I'm gonna start sauteing one onion, one tomato and garlic. Then I'm gonna add two, this is two chicken breasts that are already cooked in water and I shred it. Then I'm gonna add some parsley, green olives, and then to taste, I'm gonna add this uh, home style stock, salt and pepper, and then to make it creamy, I'm gonna add, this is half a cup of milk, I'm gonna add about one tablespoon, almost one tablespoon of flour to make everything creamy. So let's start with the olive oil pan. I'm gonna be sauteing this for about three minutes or so. Okay, it has been about three minutes. Now I'm gonna add my garlic. I'm gonna saute for about a minute. Okay, now the tomatoes. I have one tomato here. I'm gonna let it sweat a little bit on the pan. I'm gonna start adding my seasoning. I'm gonna add half of the quinoa um, stock. I can always add more if I like. A little bit of pepper. Salt. Okay, I think we have seasoned enough that we can add the chicken. See that it's kind of dry, so we need some kind of liquid here. Though. So that's why I'm going to put the milk and a little bit of flour, so it will become like a creamy consistency. Before that, I want to add the olives and the parsley. The olives give very, it's very nice taste. I love it. Mm, so good. So to my half a cup of milk. If you don't want to use milk, you can use chicken broth. One teaspoon of um, flour. So you mix first. You know that you should never put flour straight, you know, in a dish because you get a super thick. You don't want that. So you dissolve in the liquid first. I'm putting a half a tablespoon just to see if it gives me the consistency that I want. If not, I can add a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit more. Power. This could be better now. There we go. Okay, everything is already here, so I'm just gonna leave to the side so we can make the dough. Okay, so now I'm gonna start with the dough, so, um, which is in the blender, okay? This is my blender. So I always start with the liquid first, whatever is soft. So I have four eggs, room temperature. Every time I bake something, I love to, you know, my eggs to be at room temperature. I just think the cake or whatever it is, is just better. 
and then one and a half cups of whole milk, and then half a cup of oil, then two handful of um, Parmesan cheese. Okay, now I'm gonna start adding the, the flour, which is two cups of flour, okay? So I think I can do half of this. We got that. See, it's like a creamy consistency. Okay, to this now I'm gonna add a little bit of salt. and the baking powder, one tablespoon. Now this is gonna whisk. So over here I have my Pyrex that are already um, coated with butter and flour. I'm gonna put about a little bit more than half of this here. go. Now, our filling, remember our filling? I'm going to put all in here. We are all done. So now we'll get the rest of the, and you're just gonna put on top. It's okay if it doesn't cover everything because once it cooks, everything gets incorporated. So don't worry about that. I'm gonna put a little bit of Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, my oven is already hot on 350. My pan is gonna be there for about 30, 30 to 35 minutes until it grows just like a cake and it's golden brown on top. If you're not sure if it's ready or not, you get a toothpick and you put it in the middle of it. If it comes out dry, it's ready. Nice and brown. Then put it here. I'm gonna leave it here to set for a little bit, then I'm gonna cut it. I'm gonna put in my little plate here because if you have this in a little salad, that's it. You don't need a lot more. So let me put it here. Oh, is this beautiful what? Mm, this is so good. And if you serve with some salad, you don't need anything else. If you make it, please let me know what you think. And let me know if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So good.